Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Oz Throw Show, where we hope to cover everything throwing in Australia. Firstly, we spent most of today um, creating the backdrop behind me out of the old floorboards from my 120 year old um, house. Not that you care, but um, full credit to me. This community has obviously grown a lot since April, and I think it's time for a show of our own. Um, Obviously, it's going to be a little cheesy, cringy to begin with, but hopefully through trial and error, we can figure out how to make the best throw show possible. Um, hopefully, it's well received, and then we can branch out into other other segments as well. So, um, a couple of funny ones, I don't know. I'm not very funny, so we'll get through it. So, currently, we're working on a few little projects uh, to promote our sport and athletes. This show, hopefully being one of them. I will be looking into more team gear and hopefully educational resources for our athletes, but this will obviously come in due time. I've been reaching out for sponsors of our community or any help we can get uh, in any way, shape or form, but have not had much success yet and I've contacted everyone. I do want to thank all of you though who have helped out, uh, Throwers Australia, financially or just engaging with the content, commenting. Uh, making suggestions, anything like that. It's been great. Uh, if I hadn't received any of that for Throwers Australia, I probably wouldn't be very active with the community um, as much as I am at the moment. So thank you. Before we get into it, I uh, found this out recently. You've probably known about it for years, but if you are looking for a coach at any ability, skill set you might be, uh, check out the Australian Track and Field Coaches Association uh, website. So that is atfca.com.au. Um, and the Find a Coach section there has heaps of coaches. So One Athletics is a no-go. Um, if you don't know what One Athletics is, it was the vision of Coles Little Athletics Australia and Athletics Australia to unite into one sporting organisation at the national level, Australian Athletics, providing a clear and logical pathway for athletes, coaches and officials throughout their life in the sport. A statement released from Athletics Australia, uh, Athletics Australia can confirm that a vote from both Lil Athletics Australia and Athletics Australia's member associations did not achieve the support level required for the unification of the two bodies to become Australian Athletics. So as many of us do, you click the comment section below the post and it was mostly disappointment. Um, obviously I think there's ways such as even through communities like this where we can um, hopefully create a pathway for our athletes in one uh, way or another. but. Um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, find out a bit more about that or then make another attempt in the near future. Um, so, World Para Athletics Potential Postponement. Athletics Australia acknowledges the information presented by World Para Athletics over the past week, indicating the potential postponement of the 2022 World Para Athletics Championships in Kobe, Japan. And once again, read the comments and uh, you have a lot of para-athletes that are quite upset with that news, uh, as you would be. Uh, in the event that a replacement event is not made available, should the championships be postponed, Athletics Australia will endeavour to identify alternate competition opportunities that will best support the athlete preparation for 2023, Paris 2024 and beyond. And World University Games. So, Athletics Australia has released its selection policies for both the World Uni Games and the World Uni Cross Country Championships in 2022. And finally, for general news, Australian Masters Association Track and Field Championships will be held in Brisbane 2022 from April 1st to April 4th. So, on the weekend, we had the school New South Wales uh, Championships for Athletics. Um... I went through all the results and I still end up with 14 pages of results that were 
quite outstanding. So congratulations to all athletes that attended, competed, broke records, and even uh, accomplished PB. So I was originally going to go through all of this, but there there is so much. So I'm sorry if I don't get to say your name out, but I will highlight the the ones that stand out the most. So so in the boys. Hammer, 14 years, we had a, a meet record um, after 21 years finally broken by Alex Goats. Apologies if I've pronounced anyone's name incorrect. So correct me, send me a message, a voice message on Oz Throwers and let me know how your name is pronounced. So um, yeah, Alex Goats, he threw 53.51 with the four kilogram hammer and broke the previous meet record by 15 centimeters. And again, in the boys' hammer, 15 years, we had Logan Sandland. So, I mean, looking at this, this was pretty, pretty incredible throw. The previous meet record was 60.97 meters uh, from 2011 by Costa. Can't pronounce your last name, mate, but Logan threw 69.07 meters, uh, winning by about 14 meters and breaking the previous record by just over eight meters. So that's incredible work, Logan. Now this is one that I've already posted on um, Oz Throwers, but Amosia Soatini, his first round throw was 1948. About yeah, 31 centimeters shy off the meet record. And his second throw was 21.08 meters. And I believe he broke the National record for 15 boys, um, was about half a metre, and smashed the meat records. Yeah. Are you filming? Are you filming? Yeah. Oh god, can they hear me? Down! Ooh. Definitely someone to keep an eye on. And as a shot putter myself, I am very worried. So, uh, well done mate, and I look forward to versing you one day. Uh, another one I noticed a bit of a trend with was Savannah Bus. Um, all of her competitions, it appears she just smashed it. So well done. That's for the 15, 16 years para uh, ambulance throwers. Um, I've been seeing a bit of Savannah's throws over the past few months and she just seems to be getting better. So well done. And we have Girls Javelin, 12 years old with 400 gram. Talara Joseph Ryoji, sorry, through 35.72, breaking the previous meet record, which was 35.60, so 12 centimeters, and um, possibly also someone to watch in the future. Now this one was quite impressive. Um, not to bring you down, Mackenzie, but we have Tali Boltineshta. Sorry. She threw 47.25, uh, the 15 years girls javelin, breaking the previous meet record by 85 centimeters, held by Mackenzie Little. So, Tali, congratulations. And another one who killed it out on the field was Annabelle Rogers. So, well done, Annabelle. And to all the athletes that competed on the weekend, I know there were a couple of other events. Um, one in Victoria and a few little lay ones around the country. Um, keep working, keep training. Thank you for tuning in and hopefully I get to see you next time. So yeah, this is round.